In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. As we come together on this Friday to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. O God, author of our freedom and of our salvation, listen to the voice of our pleading and grant that those you have redeemed by the shedding of your son's blood may have life through you and under your protection rejoice forever unharmed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul came to Antioch, he said to the synagogue, My brothers, children of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing, to us his word of salvation has been sent. The inhabitants of Jerusalem and their leaders failed to recognize him, and by condemning him, they fulfilled the oracles of the prophets that are read Sabbath after Sabbath. For even though they found no grounds for a death sentence, they asked Pilate to have him put to death. And when they had accomplished all that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and placed him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead, and for many days he appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are now his witnesses before the people. We ourselves are proclaiming this good news to you, that what God promised our fathers, he has brought to fulfillment for us, their children, by raising up Jesus, as it is written in the second psalm. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Alleluia. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for an inheritance. and the ends of the earth for your procession, you shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. Alleluia. And now, O kings, give heed. Take warning, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice before him, with trembling, with joys. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many, many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where we are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we have this beautiful Gospel that says, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith in God. Have faith also in me. Right now, as we you know, deal with this virus, it's easy to have troubled hearts. All of our routines are all thrown to, to bits and pieces and everything's in um, uproar. Our leaders are terrible leaders in the world. They're, they're just, it's just terrible everywhere. And so it's easy to have our hearts troubled. But it's also easy because of faith to not have our hearts so troubled. 
this time of, of virus in a lot of ways gives us a beautiful opportunity to connect or reconnect, if you will, to God or continually to connect with God. It's a constant time for prayer. You know, sometimes I think we as Catholics can take the sacraments for granted. And now I don't think we necessarily will take them as for granted as we might have. And so we ask the Lord to help us with our faith, to have more faith than what we even have now, and then to help us to have peace, knowing that God is in our lives and he's in our midst and he will take care of us. We should have total faith that he will take care of us. Today we pray for Francis, our Pope, and Myron, our Bishop, and for all leaders of the Church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for all of the world's um, leaders, that uh, they would have a, a change of heart for the salvation of souls. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for the sanctity of life, for men to abortion and euthanasia. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for vocations to the priesthood and religious life, that all who feel the call will respond with courage and generosity. We pray to the Lord. We also pray in thanksgiving for our military and thanksgiving for their sacrifices to our country and also for their families who worry back home. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for Irene Rutzen, Jim Trevelyan, Alfredo Antonio, Gustavo Alvarez, and Do Shoma Hagan, whom this Mass is offered for. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all those who have died and for those who will die this day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for all those who have been affected by this virus. Um, for their health and their safety and for their families, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask all these things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which is given in the human hands of men, who become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. My brothers and sisters, that this this is the form of my nation shared to me, that they might be selfish and not be alone. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, 
And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they claim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and erred willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to a fullness of charity, together with Francis the Pope, Myron, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the life of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Now we pray in the words our Savior gave us Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.